everybody. Uh, this lesson is uh, Solving Systems of Linear Equations. Uh, this is part one. Uh, the second part, uh, we'll be tying these back into some more uh, story problems here. So this is just uh, basic Algebra 1 stuff. So let's go ahead and get started here. So um, I'll par probably pass out some graph paper in my class. So I'm going to solve each system by graphing, okay? So um, uh, solving systems means uh, we're going to graph this line right here. We're going to graph this line right here. And then where they intersect is the solution to both of them. So it's where they both share the same xy coordinate. Okay, so I'm going to graph this one in red and this one in blue right here. Okay, if I take this one in red right here, can you see if I go plus 5x to both sides, I get this equation right here? And do you see that right there? I just added 5x to that side, so I get y equals 5x plus 0. Okay, now this plus zero is going to be plotted right there, so I'm going to plot that as a, I think I did that in a black dot right there. Yeah, I did. Okay, then I'm going to use this slope right here, which is five, or five over one, which means rise over run. So from there, I'm going to go up five, one, two, three, four, five, and then over one, and I'm going to put a point right there because of the slope. Okay, and then connect those up with a straight line. Now there's that line. Okay, I'm going to do the same thing with this line right here. Now, this plus 10 means I'm going to have to extend this thing up a little bit. So let me extend that up to 10 first there. Okay, whoops, I guess I just I subtracted 5x this time from both sides. So you see, I did minus 5x minus 5x. So here's my y equals mx plus b. Okay, i got to go up to that plus 10. So let me extend that y-axis up there. And then I'll go plus 10 right there. There's my plus 10. And then from there, I'm going to go, this time it's negative 5. So it's down 5 over 1. So I'm going to go down 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and then over 1. And you can hear my dogs barking in the background. So uh, the mailman's coming to the door. He's going to drop off a package. Anyway, so uh, right there is the solution to both of them right there. So this looks like it is over 1, up 5. Remember that we go over first, and how much do we go up? Or down, if we went down, or if we went to the left. So this looks like it's at 1, 5. So that's the solution to both of those uh, equations right there, where they intersect. Okay, how about this one here, right here? Okay, on this one here, I'm going to do um, uh, the intercept method, okay? The, the intercept method is when I let x be 0 or y be 0. Now, if you want, you can solve for y. I don't think I'm going to do that with this one. I'm going to go ahead and do the x-intercepts. So I'll let x be 0. So when x equals 0, pretend like that's not there. And when that's not there, then you're left with negative y equals equals 5. Watch, I'll do something. Let's see. So when x isn't there, let me see if I can, I'll take it away right there. Uh, da, da, da. Okay, so when x is 0, then that x goes away. So you're left with negative y equals 5. So y will be negative 5, okay? So I'm going to graph 0, negative 5. So that means go over 0, down 5. So there's that one right there. All right, now this time when y is 0, just get rid of this y and the minus right there. You don't need to worry about that. And you're left with x equals 5. So I'm going to graph 5 comma 0. So that's going to be over there. Okay? You guys with me on that? All right. So then we're going to go ahead and connect those up. And you get uh, that line right there. Okay. So for this one here, the blue line, I'm going to do it again, you guys. Okay? This time when x equals 0, when x equals 0, then the 3x goes away. Okay, and I'm left with y equals 3. So I'm going to graph 0, 3, which is going to be right there. Okay, all right, and then when y is 0, then uh, you can get rid of this plus y because it's plus 0, so you don't need to worry about that. So 3x equals 3, so x equals 1. So I'm going to graph 1 comma 0 right there. Okay, so let's go ahead and graph 1, 0 right there, and then we're going to connect those lines up, and where they intersect is our solution right there. So it looks like it's about uh, over 2, down, uh, down 3 right there, so 2, comma, negative 3. Okay, that would be the solution to both of them right there. All right, okay, let's try this one right here. This one I'm going to do a little bit different here, you guys, so let's go ahead and get this going. I'm going to do this red equation first. I'm going to solve for y. You can do the intercept method like I just did on the last one, but I'm going to, I'm going to solve for y because a lot of you guys are comfortable with solving for y. So here's this red equation. I, I added the 9x to both sides. You with me right there? So I have 6y equals 9x minus 6. That's what this says right here. Then I'm going to divide by 6, divide by 6, divide by 6 right there, okay? 
And when I divide by 6, you guys, these guys cancel right there. I can go ahead and cancel those guys right there. Okay, this cancels and makes it 1 right there. And then 3 goes into both of these. 3 goes into that 3 times. 3 goes into that 2 times. Okay, so you just got to watch your fractions right here. Okay, I should have put a 1 right there. That's what I should have done. Let me put a 1 right there. These guys cancel to 1. Okay, let me take out the bold. Okay, six, uh, negative 6 over 6 cancels out to, it's, it's negative 1. Don't lose that negative right there, okay? So those cancel out. So there's negative 1 right there. So uh, we have this equation. Uh, where'd it go? So there's this equation right there. Y equals 3 halves X minus 1, okay? There's my 3 halves X minus 1. Because so when you divide it by 6, 3 goes into uh, uh, 9 three times, three goes into six two times. That's where the three halves came from. And the six over six made one right there, and that's the minus sign. So we're going to graph this minus one first, so that's going to be that guy right there. So let's go ahead and graph that first, okay? And then I'm going to use this slope, up three over two from this guy right here. Let me get my pointer. So I'm going to go up three, one, two, three, over two, one, two, and I'm going to put a point right there, okay? up 3 over 2. There's that guy right there and then connect it with a straight line. Okay, now this blue one, I'm going to do the intercept method. You can solve for y if you want. It doesn't matter. Okay, so I'm going to do the intercept method. Okay, so when x equals 0, I'll do that again. When x equals 0, then the 2x goes away and you're left with negative uh, 3y equals 8. And when you divide both sides by negative 3, you get negative 8 thirds. You with me on that? So this is negative 8 thirds when that goes away. Okay, and then let's change that to, a, for graphing purposes, a mixed number. So let's divide 3 into 8 right here. So 3 goes into 8 2 times, and 3 times 2 is 6. So I'll bring the 6 down and subtract. Okay, so then this becomes, you start at the top, it's going to be 2. Don't forget it's negative. Don't forget it's negative. It's 2 and 2 thirds. Okay, so start at the top and go clockwise. Two and two thirds right there. Okay, so two and two thirds, and don't forget it is negative, you guys. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, graph uh, zero comma negative two and two thirds. So here's zero comma, there's negative one, there's negative two. Negative two and two thirds is going to be right about there. Okay, so zero and two and two thirds. All right, now when y is 0, that's this guy, when y is 0, then the 3y goes away, and we're left with 2x equals 8, so x equals 4. So I'm going to graph 4, 0 right there, and then connect them up with a nice straight line right there. So when I connect them up with a straight line, I get that, and then there's the solution right there. So the solution looks like it's to the left 2, so negative 2 looks like down 4, so negative 2, negative 4. Okay? All right. Then, uh, real quick, so tell whether the ordered pair is a solution to the system of equations, okay? So, is it a solution? Is 3, 2, does it satisfy this equation and this equation? If it's yes to both of them, then it's a solution to the whole system of equations right there, okay? So, we're going to go ahead and substitute in 3, x equals 3, and y equals 2 into each equation. So, here we go. So, I plugged in 3 right there for x, okay, and then I plugged in uh, 2 for y, so 3 plus 2 times 2 does it equal 7, and then I plugged in 3 for that x right there, 3 times 3 minus 2 times 2, does that equal 5? Well, this is 3 plus 4, 3 plus 4 equals 7, so that's yes, how about this one, 3 times 3 is 9, 9 minus 4 is 5, so they're yes on both of them, so since they check off to both of them, then the answer is yes, 3, 2 is a solution to this system right here. Let's try one more, you guys, okay? How about this one? Is negative 3, 3 a solution to uh, this system of equations, okay? All right, so I'm going to plug in negative 3 for x here and positive 3 for y here, because this is x, this is y, okay? So here we go. Substitute that in, okay? Now, when I plugged in uh, negative 3 for this one, 2 times negative 3 is negative 6. And then 3 times 3 is 9. Negative 6 plus 9 does not equal that 12. So since it's not a solution to that one, I don't need to worry about the next one. It's not a solution to the system of equations. Okay? Hope that makes sense, you guys. Take care.